Florida's agriculture industry. It produces more than 300 products on a commercial scale. With a $100 billion annual impact, it stands as a pillar of the state's economy. And it's our job to keep it strong and help it grow. We work to open new markets for Florida's agricultural products across the nation and around the globe. We improve the nutritional value of student lunches by adding more locally grown fresh fruits and vegetables. We safeguard consumers from fraud and deceptive business practices. We work to help ensure Florida businesses and consumers have access to a stable, reliable, and diverse supply of energy. We develop better ways to use water today to help ensure a safe and plentiful supply tomorrow. We do these things and much more. We are the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Headquartered in Tallahassee, the department is guided by the leadership of the Florida Commissioner of Agriculture, Adam Putnam. Elected by the citizens of Florida, Commissioner Putnam is also a constitutional officer who serves alongside the governor as a member of the Florida cabinet. The commissioner has an executive staff to assist him in managing the department's responsibilities. The department serves its mission of safeguarding the public and supporting Florida's agricultural economy through a broad range of programs. Because of its many areas of involvement, the activities of the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services touch the lives of nearly all Floridians every day in a variety of positive and meaningful ways. Whether it's drawn from the aquifer or captured from rainfall, water is the lifeblood of Florida. As the state continues to grow, the quantity and quality of that water becomes critical. From irrigation to runoff, water issues are addressed by the Office of Agricultural Water Policy. Coordinating the efforts of the agriculture industry and federal, state, and local agencies, this office develops Best Management Practices, or BMPs, for groundwater protection. Through its mobile irrigation labs, the office also helps to save water by identifying ways to improve the efficiency of irrigation systems. The Division of Agricultural Environmental Services works to protect Floridians and the agriculture industry through more than 10,000 inspections and investigations annually. It certifies the safety and effectiveness of feed, seed, and fertilizer products and brings violators into compliance. It also works with the agriculture industry to ensure properly registered pesticides meet federal and state requirements. This division also regulates pest control services and works with local governments to effectively conduct mosquito control programs. Pests come in all shapes and sizes, but they do have one thing in common. They can be a threat to Florida's native and commercially grown plants and agricultural resources. It's the job of the Division of Plant Industry to detect, intercept, and control these risks to our plants and honeybees. This division works with approximately 8,000 registered nurseries and more than 2,000 registered apiaries throughout Florida to reduce or eliminate the economic and environmental impact posed by these pests. This division also deals with plant diseases like citrus canker and citrus greening. Through surveys with commercial citrus groves, it helps develop a strategy to manage these diseases, including standards for inspections, regulations, education, and training. Florida takes great pride in the quality of fruit and vegetables it grows. To ensure that Florida agriculture meets established standards and grades, the Division of Fruit and Vegetables inspects more than 130 million cartons of citrus, conducts shipping point vegetable inspections on more than 60 million units, 
and performs more than 300 food safety audits each year. The division holds the Global Food Safety Initiative certification, which increases consistency in food safety requirements along the entire food supply chain, making Florida the second state in the nation to achieve this certification. To help Florida growers move products from the farm to the consumer, the Division of Marketing and Development operates 12 state farmers markets. It also gathers agricultural data and compiles current statistics that assist producers in making production and marketing decisions. Ah, fresh Florida Gulf shrimp, spectacular. Through its Fresh from Florida marketing campaign, which includes retail partnerships, trade missions, and events, the division promotes Florida agriculture products throughout the United States and abroad. Delicious is always served fresh from Florida. Good food is a key to good health, and the Division of Food, Nutrition, and Wellness works to educate children in Florida on the benefits of living a healthy lifestyle. The division assists Florida's 67 school districts in following USDA standards to create nutritious school lunches. To include more fruits and vegetables in student lunches, this division coordinates statewide school menus to coincide with Florida's harvest season, so locally grown produce can be purchased at more affordable prices. For over 400 years, livestock has played a key role in Florida agriculture. Today, the number and diversity of animals in Florida, combined with the dynamic animal commerce, demands that we be vigilant in protecting the state from animal pests and diseases. Working with local producers, animal owners, and private veterinarians, the Division of Animal Industry monitors and enhances the health and welfare of Florida's animals while maintaining market access for the animals and animal products. The Division's State Animal Response Team also plans and coordinates response efforts in the event of any emergency, from natural disasters to devastating animal disease outbreaks. Florida's diverse agricultural harvest isn't limited to just dry land. An estimated 1,500 varieties of fish, shellfish, reptiles, and other species grow in the state's waters. Florida aqua farms raise products for seafood and non-food markets, like aquariums, high fashion leather, biofuels, or as seed for national and international aquaculturists. The Division of Aquaculture classifies shellfish harvesting areas and manages the lease of submerged state lands. To maintain product quality, this division also regulates the state's aquaculture facilities and shellfish processing plants. To assure the public of a safe, wholesome, and properly represented food supply, the Division of Food Safety monitors food from farm gate through processing and distribution to the retail point of purchase. Not only does the division permit and inspect food establishments, it also inspects food products. Its nationally ranked laboratories perform microbiological testing on a variety of food products sold or produced in the state. The Division of Food Safety also cross-trains agricultural law enforcement officers to detect food safety violations during cargo inspections. The department operates 23 agricultural interdiction stations along Florida's highways. It's here that the Office of Agricultural Law Enforcement conducts about 8 million inspections of commercial vehicles entering and exiting the state. Providing leadership in statewide homeland security issues, this office analyzes and evaluates threats to animal and plant agriculture, as well as food production, processing, storage, and transportation systems. It also investigates consumer fraud and any crimes involving agriculture, including criminal and civil violations occurring within the state forests. 
There are more than one million acres of state forests and other lands managed by the Florida Forest Service. One of its biggest challenges in preserving this vast forest canopy is wildfire. While the Forest Service's firefighters are prepared to spring into action with air and land equipment to battle a blaze, preventing wildfires is the focus of much of its ongoing efforts. Using the most active prescribed fire program in the nation, the Forest Service is able to reduce the risk and severity of wildfires and at the same time increase forest health, improve wildlife habitat, and enhance timber growth. The service shares their knowledge of forest management with forest landowners and urban communities. A healthy forest is a great place to experience the great outdoors. State forests provide the public with opportunities for camping, boating, hiking, riding, and bird watching. And through Operation Outdoor Freedom, the Florida Forest Service provides wounded veterans with specialized recreation on both state and private lands. Concealed weapon or firearm licenses are issued by the Division of Licensing. The number of licenses topped the 1 million mark in 2012 and continues to grow. This division also licenses and regulates three industries, private security, private investigative services, and private recovery services. To protect the public from unethical business practices on the part of these businesses, it uses the FBI's name check process to verify qualifications and backgrounds. The Division of Administration manages the department's internal functions, ranging from personnel management and employee training to facilities management and purchasing. Whether dealing with the public or other state agencies, this division strives to constantly increase its efficiency and improve customer service. Good afternoon, Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. With its familiar 1-800-HELP-FLA helpline, the Division of Consumer Services is the state's clearinghouse for consumer complaints. Okay, thank you. This division also oversees Florida's Do Not Call program provides information and protection for Florida shoppers and helps mediate disputes between consumers and businesses. It also regulates various business industries, from motor vehicle repair shops to telemarketers. The division also inspects fare rides for safety and commercial scales, checkout scanners, and gas pumps for accuracy. As Florida continues to grow, so does the cost of fueling that growth. Developing and analyzing the state's energy policies is the role of the department's Office of Energy. Through state and federally funded energy grants and other incentive programs, this office finds ways to increase the production of energy or yield energy savings through efficiency. The office also hosts the Florida Energy Summit to find ways to capitalize on energy opportunities in Florida to support economic growth. The department has a number of vastly different responsibilities, whether it's ensuring a safe and wholesome food supply, opening new markets locally or around the world, protecting the rights of consumers, or growing opportunities for energy production. Service to the citizens of Florida is always the top priority of the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services.